Are you thinking about moving to Florida? If you are, you may want to consider Southern Utah as an option. You may not know that Southern Utah is actually warm. It has a warm climate, very similar to Las Vegas, although not as extreme. Absolutely. It's more consistent than you think. Yes. And so I think a lot of people, when they're thinking about their next move and they're wanting to move to a warmer place, Florida comes to mind and Utah never, ever, ever really comes to mind because a lot of people don't really think that Utah is warm. Well, parts of it actually are. You know, sometimes I think people are just seeing the pictures of Utah. Well, Southern Utah is not like Salt Lake City. Yeah. So we don't have the snow-capped mountains. That's just not us. We are this climate. Yes. This is what we look at. We look at all of this behind us and we are a warm climate. We're we're high desert. Yeah, so, you know, not to say that it doesn't get a little chilly in the winter, and it might snow, but if it snows, it immediately melts. Oh, it's just a dusting. Yeah. You won't even know it. If you... If you wake up a little late, let's say you wake up at 9.30 a.m., it's gone. <laughs> yeah, it's gone. It's gone by then. Yeah, and it really even only snows maybe two or three times. That's about it. Yeah, two or three times. So, you know, it's not the constant heat that you get in Florida, but it's quite warm. And I've actually lived in Florida, and I would say that Florida has nice weather three months out of the year, <laughs> and the rest is so hot and humid, whereas here in St. George, we have nice weather nine months out of the year, and then three months in the summer, it is quite hot, very, very hot. And let's talk about the humidity hot. It's not that hot that you couldn't do your things. Yes. It's just a little unpleasant. It's not when you step out the door and you're hit with humidity. That's not it. It's 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 warm. It's very hot. You wouldn't want to be out in it, but it's not like you couldn't do your things. Yes, even in July, which is the hottest month of the year, and it can get up to 115 degrees in July sometimes, you're always going to be hitting triple digits in July unless it's a weird month. But in the morning, you can still go out. You can. You can still go out. I mean, it's still hot. It's a little hot, but, you know, it's not unbearable. And when the sun starts to go down, and then it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's going to be still probably in July. It'll start probably still be about 95, but it's still great. Yeah, and it's a nice time to go swimming. It's a perfect time to go swimming. Yeah, a lot of people will save and do their activities either in the early morning. You know, one of your old clients, I remember when we first met you, they were at a barbecue and they were saying, yeah, it's really hot, but we get up and we go play pickleball from 6 a.m. to 10 a.m., and then we're done and we're totally fine for the rest of the totally day. Totally fine. And <laughs> yeah. then just chill the yeah. rest of the night and then hop in the pool. Yeah. At around 7.30 or 8. Yes. So before we continue, let's introduce ourselves. My name's Courtney Dezod. And I'm Sue Halterman. And if you are thinking about moving out here to beautiful southern Utah, beautiful St. George, yes, behind us, that is not a green screen. It is not. If you're thinking about moving out here to beautiful St. George, don't forget to call or text that number right there. Either Sue or Dustin or Sean will talk to you. They will either talk to you right away or call you back or you can email. So don't forget to reach out to us. But then of course, you know, if you're thinking about Florida, you may be thinking about the beach, right? That's the attraction. Yeah. So obviously Utah doesn't have a beach, but we do have absolutely beautiful scenery, beautiful mountains. I mean, yeah. Incredible. It's really incredible. I just reached out to a friend of mine this morning asking about Florida because she just recently moved back to Florida. And she says that that's what she misses most is the terrain. Yeah. It's beautiful. She said that if they could put the mountains and the ocean together, now that would be perfect. Yeah. But seriously, the mountains is what she misses and the variations of mountains and the mesas. It's just gorgeous. So we talked about being here in uh, Snow Canyon. This is how it is all the way around. It's gorgeous. Yeah, so even though St. George itself, so we're talking about Southern Utah. When people talk about Southern Utah, they're really talking about St. George is the major city and then, you know, the cities that are surrounding it. That's all in a little valley, but then really it just goes up from there. You've got the Pine Valley Mountains. You've got all of these stunning parks around you, like <laughs> Snow Canyon behind us. And then, of course, the famous Zion is, almost, is about 45 minutes from us. That's got beautiful cliffs, beautiful mountains. So St. George itself is in a little valley, but then everything else is just beautiful peaks and mountains around us. And in fact, you can get into Alpine Living 45 minutes from St. George into the Pine Valley Mountains. So you go from two very different and very distinct climates where you have the high desert and then you have the mountain living. And we should say we are only 10 minutes from downtown. 
Yes, right here. So this is Snow Canyon State Park. It's kind of, I would say, an underrated state park. Oh, People, it sure is. Yeah, People don't know enough about it. They think of Zion's, but they don't come to Zion. They don't come to uh, Snow Canyon, and they should. Yeah, because like Sue said, we're literally ten minutes from downtown St. George, so. <laughs> We are standing right here, and we've got some people that brought their horses. Oh yeah, out. Let's pan around and here. Let me get me. Let me get my shot. phone. Yeah. So those horses that we're just showing you right now, that how Sue was just explaining it. St. George is a city. It's about there's about two hundred thousand people in the metro area, but it's also very rural. And then you know these people that are on their horses are getting ready to go horseback riding out here in Snow Canyon. That's really typical of St. George that life. Is. I mean, it's so cool. I mean, you can bring out your horses. You're we're rural enough to have horses. And we also have horse properties. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty cool. I think it's really cool that we have a variation of just different types of lifestyles if you want to live that way. Yeah. So if you're watching this video, you may not know that much about Southern Utah. So let's just give a little description okay. of kind of where it is. We're about an hour and 45 minutes outside of Las Vegas. We're on the southern tip of Utah. Like I was saying before, the metro area is about 200,000 people. So the way that I like to describe it is it's a big enough area where your day to day is really taken care of. You, It's not like living in a super, super small town. But at the same time, you have that, you know, slow quality of life, that slower pace of life. You have the small town charm. It's really the best of both worlds, in my opinion. I think so, too. And we should say we're about five hours um, south of Salt Lake City. Yeah. So sometimes people get us mixed up with that Salt Lake City and thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to move to Utah. Yeah. But we're five hours uh, south of Salt Lake City. Yeah. Completely different climate. Totally different. And it's a completely different vibe too. Yeah. I so the people so. in Salt Lake City, they come and they vacation here in St. Mm -hmm. George and they love it and they have second homes here. Yeah. It's definitely a tourist spot, St. George. Yeah. Lots of golf courses, just lots of great things to do outdoors. Definitely a resort community. Mm -hmm, for sure. So if you are thinking about moving to Florida, maybe one consideration you have is what is the health care like in both states? So I went to U.S. News and World Report and what they said was that health care in Utah, it ranks, the state of Utah ranks number seven out of all 50 states. And for Florida, it ranks number 27. And how they figured that was not only access to health care, but also outcome as well. And here in St. George, we actually have a really, really excellent hospital. It's one of the top ranked hospitals in all of the state of Utah. So that's one nice thing, too. Even though we're a small area, we do have great access to health care. And the hospital is centrally located as well, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool, too. So you're not traveling very long distances to get to the hospital. Yeah. Oh, and we just got a biker, too, just to show you. Just again, this is just typical St. George life, you know, yeah. people coming out to enjoy the outdoors. It's 1130 in the afternoon. Yes. <laughs> people taking advantage of our, our spring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, beautiful. So now let's talk about education. Let's compare the two states. Utah ranks number five for education, according to U.S. News and World Report, and Florida ranks number one. I don't have much experience in terms of education in Florida, so I don't really know like how to comment on it, other than I personally think you know, I've been very happy with the education offered, the public education offered here in Utah. And I think we talked about this before, and I'm completely satisfied with our education. My daughter goes to a charter school, and my son goes to a career tech high school. And I am just, I can't, I pinch myself that they love school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm very happy with it as well. Now let's talk about critters and bugs. Now, I know that in Florida there is a lot of critters, a lot of mosquitoes, a lot of bugs. That's actually one gnats. nice thing. Yeah, gnats. My friend mentioned gnats. <laughs> yeah. It's actually one nice thing about here. I mean, it's not, of course we have bugs. I mean, every place in the world has bugs, but it's not really noticeable. It's not really anything I think about other than the fact that we spray once a quarter. We do. We do spray. We do those, those abatements. And we don't have a lot of standing water. So maybe yeah. that's why that makes a difference. Yeah, there's no, I really have not noticed any mosquitoes. I mean, do you notice mosquitoes nope, here? Nope, I have not. No. Nope. I, I look for the gnats. If I see gnats coming out, I'm going back inside. And that's not a problem. And in fact, we had um, a buyer from California and he, he often keeps mentioning, you guys don't have any bugs. You don't have no. any mosquitoes. We really don't. It's, 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 it's really interesting. Actually, it's weird because in Salt Lake, they do have mosquitoes. I mean, I remember I took my daughter to a soccer tournament in Salt Lake and I got so bit 
so many mosquitoes. Oh, and then down goodness. here, there's nothing. I don't <laughs> notice it. I don't notice it all. And I do have a pool, so you would think that they would gravitate around the water. And I haven't noticed it. No. So now another big difference between Florida and southern Utah, and really all of Utah, is that obviously Florida, you have the whole issue of hurricanes, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, we don't deal with that here. And because of the hurricanes, there's also very high home insurance costs in Florida. And I, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, it's gotten a lot higher very recently because they very recently changed the rules. Yeah, in terms that's of it. what I understand. Yeah. In terms of natural disasters here, there's not really much that I worry about. You know what? I, I Every so often we get an earthquake, but it's not on the earthquake scale where it's that noticeable. Yeah. And, you know, obviously you sometimes have mudslides because of the cliffs and stuff, but... Nothing, I mean, I'm not really day-to-day nope. -day worrying about any of it. So. And not much as far as uh, flood insurance either. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, they've done a really good job here because St. George has had floods in the past, but the U.S. Army of Engineers did a really good job of just really changing how the water uh, runs and how it works when it gets a lot of snow. Like last year, we actually had in the mountains more snow than we've ever had, and there was no issue. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah. Now let's talk about crime and safety. I mean, it's kind of hard to say because obviously we're comparing a state to one little area. So I don't really know what to say in terms of Florida crime and safety. But here, I mean, you can check the safety statistics yourself. It has definitely very good safety statistics in terms of it's better than average. Of course, we always have to give the caveat in terms of safety that what I think is safe, it may not be what you think is safe. So you really just got to come out here yourself and really just check it out and see if it, it fits what your needs are. As far as safety, uh, we had some buyers that that were uh, driving around by themselves and they noticed kids on the street and they thought, wow, this is pretty cool community because where they're from, not very many kids on the streets. Yeah, that's definitely true. I mean, I personally, of course, is anecdotally, I've never felt unsafe anywhere, Same. anytime. Same. But of course, you know, again, everyone's different. So that's just you know, what we have to say about that. Right. Now, in terms of prices here in Southern Utah, you may be wondering about that. So we are a little bit higher than the U.S. average because like we were saying before, it is a resort community. However, you like to call St. George the cheapest, cheapest nicest, nicest place to live. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, I mean, you know, it's not cheap, but it's not exorbitantly expensive or anything. You get a lot of bang for your buck is what Sean says. And I, it is true. Yeah. There's a lot of value here that you don't realize that you're not paying for it. It mm -hmm. just comes with it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. And I would just say the quality of life that you get here for oh, what absolutely. you're paying. I mean, I'm sure you could find cheaper places, but I personally wouldn't want to live there. <laughs> no, no. I mean, we gave you the panoramic view mm -hmm. uh, or pictures of horses and a bike rider. And then just down the way, when we made our turn here, there was lots of hikers. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's just a great quality of life. It's awesome. It's mm -hmm. amazing. Yeah. And then obviously you got to address the elephant in the room, the question that a lot of people really have. And that is, you know, everyone knows you can check for yourself. You can look at the statistics yourself. But there is a very large population here of people who are part of the Church of Latter-day Saints. And people will wonder, you know, if you're not part of that church, what is it like? And, you know, my experience is that, of course, this is anecdotal, but no one cares. I, I mean, don't think anybody cares. <laughs> yeah. I don't think it's a thing. Yeah. I, I think we've got a really good mix. Yeah, and it is true. I mean, we there is a St. George culture. There is a Utah culture, and that is clean. Yeah, <laughs> very, very clean. <laughs> not much partying, not much, you know, the nightlife, yeah. as we'll get into. Yeah, and I would say, yeah, the, I don't think it really matters at all. I mean, in, in fact, one of my best friends that I've made here is a very devout member of the Church of Latter-day Saints, and it's not even like an issue. It's not even, like, she doesn't care that I'm not a member. I don't care that she's a member. No one cares. <laughs> <laughs> And remember, if you are thinking about moving out here to beautiful Southern Utah, to beautiful St. George, Utah, don't forget to call or text that number below, or you can email us.